the first position we have Kirdan. Hmm. Kirdan? And in the second position we have mm -hmm. Elfhelm. Ooh. In the third yeah. Hmm. Oh. In the third position is Gildor. And our last potential hero. Don't ignore her. It's Eleanor. Um all right, so we need to decide. Do we want to go to spirit? We have to pick a hero to drop, right? Yeah, we got to drop a hero. So I guess that's the first thing we could talk about is when you're considering building a deck, what makes you keep one hero over another? Um, Which ones are better? Yes. At what, though? <laughs> See, right well, away, I, I, like, I like to make sure I have um, my bases covered in terms of questing and defending and attacking um, either with my heroes or have or have a, have the right distribution that I could play an ally early on that would take care of whatever is lacking. Right. Straight away, I noticed that Kirdan and Gildor, they both have high willpower. So... Mm -hmm. If we double up on both of them, we'll definitely be questing fine our first turn. But our threat with just those two heroes is already 21. But all these heroes are pretty high threat. So I think we're going to have to assume we're going to be defending an enemy on turn one with this choices. How, how about we all, on the count of three, say the hero that we would drop and then go from there? Mm, that's hard. Oh my, it's so hard. Okay, I want to think this through. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. I, I, I want to think out loud. I want to think out loud because okay, we're looking at synergies too, right? And we have Kirdan and Gildor, or both Gildor. Elfhelm has his mount thing, but a mount on Eleanor realistically isn't going to do anything. Correct. A mount on Gildor isn't really going to be useful because of his defense. But a mount on Elfhelm and a mount on Kirdan would be good. Yep. So that's quite of that's your bare minimum. Uh, what about those Noldor steeds? Can they go on non-spirit heroes? What's the one I'm thinking of? The one where you discard cards. Steed of Enladris. Steed of Enladris. They can, can go on a spirit. Hero. Just spirit, hey. Okay. Or Noldor. So it could it go, go on Noldor too, but it could go on Gildor. It could but... go on Gildor. Any, any, uh... All right, I know who I'm going to say to drop. What's that? Whoops, okay, I see my connection's going low. I said I know who I'm going to drop. Me too. Everyone knows on the count of three which hero you want to drop? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll do it then. On the count of three. One, two, three. Eleanor. Eleanor. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. I went I went counter. I figured you guys would all say Eleanor. I didn't hear what you said, John. I, I said I said Elfhelm just because he he brings along like half the deck with him. He's he's one of those heroes that has many Yeah. To get maximum effect, you bring many toys for him and therefore there's half of your deck build. Sure. So for purposes of our discussion, I thought it might be more interesting to have uh to drop Elfhelm and Keep Eleanor, who is a corset hero and therefore not um, has, I guess, a, a, an interesting selection of abilities compared to the uh, modern card pool. Well, it brings up an interesting thing My... about deck building is you can build what you think is the most powerful deck based on these four heroes or one that might be interesting to build. Or, or Chris, or I mean, or Chad, sorry. Uh, what you can do when, uh, when I deck build is I find a deck that Chris has made, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I find a way to make it worse. Oh, I do the same thing. <laughs> that that is my that's <laughs> that is what I do. Oh, yeah. I have done that. I have built a deck, and then look and see. Chris has built the same deck with the same three mm -hmm. heroes, except his is so much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, there's 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 uh, a thing there. Like oh yeah, this that, doesn't have knife work in it. That's right. Yeah. Oh he, yeah. Oh, he oh, included zero problem. copies of knife work. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Somehow he has All six right. copies of okay, Fohammer. Okay. Um, my reasons for dropping Eleanor were, uh, well, I did like the fact that she would 
give us a nice starting threat below 30. So this is this is going to be tough for us having 31 starting threat. Mm -hmm. But I like Elfhelm in that he allows us to get a turn one steward by having two leadership heroes, him and Gildor. Agreed. And um, also a turn one Destrier uh, or, you know, any turn in the future where we use up our leadership resources. The next turn we can right away play a Destrier. So I, obviously I think we should throw in three Destriers and three Steeds of Imladris, as you've already done, and three Stewards of Gondor. Yep. And this uh, is so what I are... usually do. I, I always do three ofs for any card I'm considering including. I mm, always... Especially for the first ones you think of. They're yep. normally the cards that are going to be three ofs. Um, obviously, three of Test of Will. Oh, really? I will put it in now, but no guarantee we're going to keep that one. What? <laughs> I've, I've started not including Test of Will in, in most of my spirit I... decks. Okay. I, I play somewhat, I mean, I when I get to play anymore, it's so often an air store deck. So, yeah, I haven't been running a test of will nearly as often just because it goes away. Yep. I mean, I... Um, what so do you I think about Narya? Hmm. I, I, my thinking is, first of all, the reason why I didn't pick Eleanor um, is, A, because we can mitigate our threat through... Uh, Elrond's council. There it is. Mm -hmm. We already have no. Oh yeah, let's throw three of those in there. Yep. If we had a tactics hero, I would have gone Eleanor, because then you can give her a Gondorian shield, and she's a decent defender. Yep. yep. But we don't, and so I'm looking at Elfhelm as a defender, and we're going to need some type of attack. So, I agree, Chris. I think we need the ring. All right. Yep. I agree. So um, that's, what's then... a, that's what that's uh, what a lesson I learned after like a year of deck building was why you're including the hero not so much their ability but their stats because their abilities mm -hmm. are good but yeah honestly you need the stats more more often that's how you're going to win the game so yeah i agree that's eleanor with the gondorian shield it's like okay i got a four defense defender now but yep, yep i agree all right uh, you'll need to feed that steed and gildor is going to feed the card draw right all right so we are saying naria Obviously, um, just throwing out the staples here, we're going to want Elven Light. Of course. Um, oh, there it is. I'm a big fan of Silver Harp and Kyrdan yeah, decks. If, if we've got the, uh, I mean, if we've got the Steed of Imladris, we're going to want the Elven Light, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, Light of Alinor for Kyrdan so that he can quest mm -hmm. and then use his ring. Where am I? John, we, we can't hear you there. still, just in case you're wondering. No, I'm I haven't been saying much okay. because you're ra you're you're rattling off all the standard cards. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um My to... weakness is leadership. I honestly don't know where to start after this. I same, I don't play a ton of leadership decks. Um nice I don't, check. Think, I don't think there are any more steeds we want to include, are there? Um I included three knife works. Is that no? Is that good? <laughs> no. All right. No. Si sideboard maybe. A tactics lore combo <laughs> yes. card. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the ring does. Not only did we dump on that card for ten minutes, then we purposely are building a deck that we can't even possibly use it. Like we don't even want any yeah. of the spheres that cards related to. What about some of the newer cards like Horn of the Mark? We don't um... know yet. See what I do when I when I deck build. I'm like maybe I'll need Horn of the Mark, so I'll throw it in there and I'll just I'll see later if I need it. But I saw it and I'm like eh, maybe. So now it's in my deck and I'll see if I need to cut it later or Why if it's is even Horn of the Mark in our deck. I'm I'm putting it in there because we have oh. a Rohan hero and we have a Spirit hero and it's a neat new card that I haven't played with much. So I'm just saying when I deck build, I throw a card like that in there. And then as I'm refining my deck, it'll probably get cut, but I remembered it so at that moment, so I just throw it in there to kind of be Can like... Can we put it in the sideboard? Because obviously it's not going to make the final cut. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just on the allies. <laughs> Alright, um, so you can sneak attack Gandalf, just, you'll, just, you'll love it. Because um, it's character least oh, play, yeah. right? Should we put those in? I it's character least play, so anything... We're gonna play with any 
of the Sylvan shenanigans or Gandalf. It's a decent card. Mm -hmm. Chris, I thought you'd love it. It's card draw. We should. We should. You you bring up a great point, though. We sh should probably throw Sneak Attack Gandalf in there. Yeah, with Naria, he's going to be a beast. What What's Chad looking for right now? S sneak Attack. Aren't I on event? Neutral? Why don't you just type it in the bar? Oh, God, it's sneaking. I do. I'm sorry. I'm like an idiot. Do you actually? This is how you build decks. You go scrolling through all leadership events to find sneak attack. <laughs> They're in alphabetical <laughs> order. You yeah. could have like typed in S N in the in the in the text box there and would have come up. Yeah, but my typing hand is currently in between my knees because it's cold down in my basement. <laughs> 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 it's true. I don't want it to get cold. <laughs> But yeah, this is normally what I do. Because then I, when I'm scrolling, cards pop up, and I'm like, oh yeah, that card. Because I don't think of them off the top of my head, so I see their name, and it, I like remember them because I see the name, and I'm like, oh, maybe that, maybe that. Um, for me, I'm thinking we are a little light on the allies. We only got yeah, I was going to ask, I had to light. step away for a second. I was going to ask what allies we have. Someone suggested the horse breeder. We also could do Arwen. Oh, Horse Breeder's great. Mm -hmm. um, Let me scroll down to yeah, the Arwen W. Be an auto. Some of the other two for two spirit allies might be good, like the um, uh, Handmaiden or the West... Uh, West Road Traveler? West Road Traveler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of Glorfi in there for funsies? Yeah. Definitely with Narya, he's amazing. I mean, no, I, I might, I might even want like three of Treebeard in there if we're just abandoning the elf. What about Keely and uh, Feely? Rohan theme. We only have one spirit hero. We're gonna be really shy on resources. Well, then unless we're you need to decide. It I think right. the steward's gonna go on Kirdan. I'm pretty sure. Looking at the yeah. build, yeah. Narya will give him leadership as well, so. It makes sense right. to give the hero right. of the multiple spheres. How many copies of Durofin? You do have to consider what you do if you don't draw a steward, though. Six. You don't want to be totally Six. reliant on that. Did I miss a uh, an ally, you guys said? I don't know, because I can't see it. Oh, I have Arwen, Gandalf, okay, so... Glorfi, Westworld. Actually, Traveler. hold on. Let me, see, let me see if I can pull this up on my phone. There you go. I'm going to... Yeah, so we've got Ar Arwen, Gandalf, Glorfindel, Westroad Traveler, and Westfold Horsebreeder. Is uh, Old Tree Ears in there? Did we? Oh yeah, that's that's what you guys said. Uh, that's what you said. Potentially three copies of Tree Beard. How much we got left? We have right, forty-six cards already. Oh, wow, pulls up fast. <laughs> Purple Wizard is asking, does Elven Light really make sense here? Well, with between Kirdan and the Steed. Well, I'm thinking more the Steed of Imladris. Right. Yeah. If you want to fuel that. Steed of Imladris right. or right. Glorfindel, but there's only one Glorfindel. Is there anyone else we could. What about. Glorfindel could probably be a two of. What about uh, I'm thinking Leadership drop... Aristor? I'm thinking drop Arwen down to two of, maybe. Yep. Leadership what about Leadership Aristor? Aristor. Oh yeah, could do do that. Then he's an option if you don't draw your in Ladris, but you draw your Elven Lights. Yep. Um, hmm. See, now we're to the thing where I'm like, hmm, I have lots of Noldor allies. Maybe I should be including to the sea to the sea and mm -hmm. dropping these two Rohan allies. They're good tech, though. Right. Uh, we're at 48. We're seeing some of the differences in how we deck build come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm much more smorgasbord. Uh, Let's see. Is that working for you, John? Are you able to see it on your phone? No, it, it actually disconnected me from the voice channel here. Oh. So, I was like, nope. I wonder why it won't let you talk. I, I don't know, because Discord hates me. We've established this. Hmm. Discord hates me. That is weird. It may actually be, be the legacy audio thing that I'm having to use to make the app work. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> Horn of the Mark. 
no one's leaving play. Uh, is this meant for solo? Or multiplayer or both? Yeah, what, about, um, what about uh, Ancient Mathem? Get some more card draw. Chris is suggesting that? What? Hmm. Gimli? I'm just... As you say, I'm adding them. Uh, what do we look like on events right now? Test of Wills, Elrond's mm -hmm. Councils, Elven Light, and Sneak Attack. It's pretty much the the four most common events for these two spheres. And we got a we got a ton of Noldor, yes. Uh, um, not a ton. Not a ton. We got the big names, the three big okay. names: Ar Arwen, Eris Arwen Ally, Eristor Ally, Glorfindel Ally. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, my thoughts right now, looking at this list, that's 52 cards, so already we have to cut stuff. I'm thinking with the Destrier on Elfhelm, he gets up to three defense, but that's not that amazing right? Uh, for keeping him alive. I would maybe want to think about Dunedain Warnings mm -hmm. or going bigger and going for uh, Ancestral Armor for him. Yeah. Or uh, um, you know, or shifting to a style where it's like, yeah, Elfhelm, he's like your pinch defender at the beginning, but then you're trying to get your Narya Treebeard set up for 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 doing combat. Mm -hmm. um, and that's if that were the case, I'd lean towards. Um, I don't know. Uh, streamlining more card draw focusing more on card draw and not on the sort of ancestral armor strategy um so if, if i'm hearing you right uh, basically when, when you deck build like this uh, in general it's either like well i want to get very specific cards on specific heroes so i got to make sure my deck is is very consistent and i can get those cards out or you build it more generalized I, okay, I can have allies defend. If I can get Elfhelm boosted, that's great. But you can't do both. You can't. Yeah. Say, you either got to say I'm going to focus my deck, or I'm going to let it be. Uh, well, whatever cards I draw will be helpful. It's but, consistency right. in cards versus consistency in intent and theme. Right. Uh, well, you could go copies of Jubire and uh, Elda here, mm. or you can go with the ancestral armor and card draw route. Right. Um. Secondhand Took is suggesting like the we could, you know, we could go all out on Elfhelm and throw him like Dunedain Warning, Ancestral Armor, Hauberk of Mail, Unexpected Courage, Armor Destrier, and make him a tank. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one strategy. Or we could, as I said, you know, <clears throat> he's an initial kind of emergency defender, um, but ultimately we're trying to get Narya set up with Treebeard to do our defending um and one of those strategies warrants different cards than the other um in in, in how you want to set that up uh now in case listeners are at, are wondering uh we have no healing so what do you mm -hmm. guys think would be a good defense value whichever way we go i mean we're looking at our lineup we're not jump blocking Right. How much defense would you feel comfortable with on Elfhelm? Yeah, in case. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I know exactly. It may, you know, and yeah. some of that depends on. Now we have to t to think about what quest we're going up against. Um, There's always do a dying signal. No, not signal. Remedy. Remedy. Yep. I just. Oh yeah, that. that's right. And we do have um, money to burn. E I'm not a fan <laughs> of the remedy. Oh, it's really? only one though. Yeah. I like yeah, the remedy. I don't, I don't, I don't really like the remedy hmm. because, especially if you're building up one main defender, it, it's you have to spend two resources to heal them one point of damage because you have to move I'm it on him and then move it back. back. Yeah. It, um. Oh, I, I mean, see what you're let's saying. See. 
not very economical. The first one heals for free, but then any future we know. healing, you got to bounce it back. It's the deuce. I mean, the the one we have available to us, uh, magic ring is neutral, isn't it? That's oh yeah, bring your threat. But I mean, it's only one. That's a good point. And I mean, in terms of not having healing, so uh, yeah. you know, I'm I might I might prefer the strategy of just making Elf Helm like a pinch defender and and going a more ally focused route for defending, so that if they die, you can replace them. Yeah, it does fit with Naria. So is it worth throwing in Jubire? Um, Defense of allies. Yeah. 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 He is. Well, with Naria, you could also do a very good tail. Yeah, uh, we can't really do a very good tail with the amount of allies we have. No. Right. Have to totally reshift. You'd have to reshift. I always like to have at least twenty-five um, allies if I'm going to do a very good tail, and Gandalf doesn't super count because he doesn't stay. No. Treebeard's great for a very good tail. Mm -hmm. one thing i'm noticing about our build here and we review cards on this podcast is we haven't included any of the cards we always say ah throw one in just throw you know as a as a fun card and that's what i think is the tricky part about deck building is you get to this situation you're like okay i got 59 cards now obviously some of these i can drop down to two very easily but we're still above 50 and we haven't really included any of those just include one and see how it works type cards this is often uh, the trap i see a lot of people fall into is that they they have these one-off oh yeah i'll just include it but then they include 10 of them yeah mm -mm. yeah pick one or two yep um right so do we, if we're not making Elfhelm the main defender maybe we should drop the armor in the warning Give Bard lee gives up a, brings up a good point uh, we have these ways to discard cards. We could discard a warden and stand and fight it. Mm. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think about that, you guys? I've built decks like that before, where my plan is to discard my off-sphere allies and stand and fight them back in. Um, it's a build. It's janky. Oh, yeah. 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 It's fun to do. I mean, it is fun, it is. especially if you have a target ally. But, Chris, um, what do you think? Is it better to do stand and fight, or is it better to do um, uh, a good harvest? Since we have a way to discard cards, I feel like stand and fight <laughs> might be better, but then you're restricted to just the spirit. Um, yeah. I think... Well, this is just me personally. I think like if we're doing the if we're trying to squeeze healers into the deck so that Elf Home can be a reliable defender that you can heal, it's just uh, one step too far, I think. Like, you gotta... We already have to dig out cards to increase boost his defense. Mm -hmm. Now we have to also, on top of that, dig out cards, a two-card combo to get healing on the table. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, for for me, it's, it's easier to just imagine naria and treebeard as your defense solution okay mm. um just that two car combo alone is very reliable um you don't need to to build much on top of that to to solve most combat issues sure so one thing i've said before in the past is how you need to survive turn one and you need to make sure you can defend and elf helm should be able to defend any attack on turn one unless you just you know get wrecked by something and then hopefully by turn two you have something else in play and that's why we're saying healing isn't as important because your heroes shouldn't be taking a lot of damage and as long as your heroes are living you you, you can stand and fight another day <laughs> but mm. you know what i'm saying i i, I fight it's also fun for the unexpected when your allies go away Mm -hmm. 
And I don't know, have we decided yet if this is a solo deck or multiplayer deck? Because well, that's a good multi- question. What, when if you guys it's a multiplayer deck, someone else <clears throat> might just be able to bring the healing a lot easier. Right. Like John, when you deck build, I know you play a lot of solo. Do you always just assume I'm building a deck solo? Oh yeah, yeah. I I always build around it being like having to do all the things okay, and maybe it's yeah. Oftentimes I do run into the conundrum we're having here, which is. Do I want to worry about healing, or am I going to pack a lot of willpower in the deck and uh, enough defense to get me by and just try to steamroll through as quickly as I can? Um, and, I, yeah, I often my base assumption is that I'm playing this deck solo. Okay. What, what about you other two guys? I Even when I play solo, I play two-handed, and that's because it opens up the deck-building possibilities. There's a lot of cards that you can't play with only one deck, and it's limited deck space, and like you said, maybe you want a one of, and that's really hard to do when you're going solo. Okay. Chris, do you always assume a deck is for one or the other when you build? Uh, most of the decks I build are solo, um, but when I'm building, when I know I'm going to be playing the quest of multiplayer, then I, I definitely keep that in mind. Um, you know, sometimes our my my play group will be more organized for a more challenging quest, and mm-hmm. it'll be very very synergistic with the other ones. Other times it'll be like, well, we know you know we know we're not going to have issue with the quest we're going to play, so just you know bring whatever you want. And in that in that case, I'm bringing more of a a solo oriented deck that doesn't really depend on any anybody else. Okay. So it it varies it varies depending on the situation. I usually, if I'm bringing a, if I'm building a deck that I'm assuming is for multiplayer, I would not be including a bunch of these cards. Um, you know, if you have Steward and Light of Valinor and Ally <laughs> Arwen and Treebeard, you know, you're you're taking up a lot of the the real estate. Plopping this deck down, I would probably mm. try to come up with a different way to get rid of at least couple of those tree beard i said i don't know if i said that but um so i'm assuming this is more of a solo deck just based on some of the cards we've put in here yeah and also you know, for like a multiplayer deck it's not really wowing one of the attributes of the game either where you could be like all right i got willpower handled you guys you know this is mm-hmm. gonna do great or i can defend a lot i mean he's not even sentinel is he no only if we get arwen boosting them or whoever treebeard whoever we end up being the defender so i i feel like this is a solo deck just based on what we got going here why not the handmaiden over the traveler oh you guys said handmaiden the traveler has location tech built in that's it might be quest specific I did it for theme, the Rohan theme versus the Sylvan theme was, you know, my reasoning. Hmm. Um, I think there are argument, good arguments for both. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know about the harp. I think I'd be comfortable dropping the harp entirely and bumping up the Mathems to three. Because the harp is a it's tempo a- hit. Uh, it's you know, expensive. in the sense, in the sense that it takes you two resources, and then it's like comparing to ancient Mathem. Mm-hmm. Uh, ancient Mathem will get you three additional cards by the next round. Sober Harp will take, by well, in combination with Kirdan, will take you know three three additional rounds to make up that same margin right uh and if you want to find it you need three of but all duplicate copies you draw once you get in play are dead because we only have one spirit yeah, it's here nicer when you have our win as well then you right. have two targets yeah. um but the only reason i go with silver harp is because i have been burned too many times with two awesome cards in my hand and i have to discard one so it's totally just uh those moments yeah yeah 
it's funny because I'm I'm the other way on silver harp. I don't include it in um, e- even in like an era store build, just because I, I figure, you know, I'm going to see those cards again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, it's all, it's all coming back around. The big continuum of cards <laughs> flowing through my hand. Um. So yeah, my my. I mean, to me, silver harp is kind of it's it's not this necessarily the same class as a test of will because obviously a test of will is is much more universally useful. But it's one of those that I often. We'll find myself if it's in a early form of a build, it might be one of the first to go, or it 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 might make it pretty deep, but still end up going because I'm like, well, yeah, it's going to save. I, I can make a case for it being useful clearly, but a lot of times, just the quest and the situations play out where it's not that bad without it. Yep. And no, right, I did so... not put an equal sign between Silver Harp and Test of Will, so don't at me. So we've got 53 cards now, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to quickly recap to the listeners. We've allies, we've got uh, two Arwens, two Eurostores, two Handmaidens, three Gandalfs, two Gimlis, two Glorfindels, three Treebeards, three West Road Travelers, and three Westfold Horsebreeders. For the attachments, we've got three Ancient Mathems, three Armor Destriers, three Light of Valinors, one Magic Ring, three Narias, two Steeds of Imladris, three Steward of Gondor. In events, we've got three Test of Will, three Elements Council, three Elven Light, and three Sneak Attack. And we have to cut a total of three cards. So we get rid of the I three mean, Test Gandalf of Wills. Good end. Uh, you... <laughs> yeah, right. Gandalf down to two. So why don't we, why don't we go over to the play uh, tab and then draw a few starting hands and see what we don't like. Uh, in our start opening hand, that'd be an awesome starting hand. <laughs> All right, the starting hand I just I just got was uh, the handmaiden Arwen, steward, the horse breeder, Jeez. the steed of Imladris, and sneak attack. So assuming you could put steward on Kirdan, which then lets you get Arwen. That's yeah, that's pretty good. That's and pretty... a breeder, yeah, and then and a breeder, and then next round you get a destrier out on. Elf Helm, and he's defending for four with Arwen. That's pretty solid. Let's see. Would it whiff? So we got to draw one for opening hand. Oh, we would have drew the ancestor here. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. We wouldn't even need to play the breeder. We could save it for something else. That's pretty good. All right. Reset. All right. This time, Aristor, Light of Valinor, Gandalf, Test of Will, Treebeard, West Road Traveler. Not as good. Hmm. What Light of Valinor is good. Oh, we'd be drawing three. two cards though. We got Cure Dance. Yeah. I'd probably mulligan this hand. What card are we looking for? What card do you think is a? Uh... Oh, good question. Um, maybe There's so steward? much spirit. I think steward. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'd say steward. Yep. So yeah, I would mulligan this. Try to find steward. Oh boy. Two Light of Valiners, Handmaiden, Steed, Test of Will, Elrond's Council. Draw, draw. We got our Elven what? Light, so we could discard that. And we drew Narya. What critical thing is Light of Valinor doing in this deck? Allowing questing and... We said radiating allies for defense. True. Be tree beard. Right, because you, you need... shenanigans with Arwen if you can get her to exhaust again. Narya yeah. says you have to exhaust the character, so that keeps right, Kirdan right, right. ready. Um, hmm. Okay. So we did With get our... seven willpower, man. I think we're quite good. Maybe we're over the top on willpower. I don't know what you guys think. That's what like, I was looking at. Like maybe cutting some of these uh, uh, two two. Spirit allies. Maybe the Westworld Traveler down to two. And now we have two cards to cut. I'm what do you... personally personally I don't like the magic ring here. Really see what it's doing. Yeah, if we're not worrying about healing, then ditch it. How do you feel yeah, about going ditched. down to two sneak attacks? I'm fine with two sneak attacks and two Gandalfs. That that would have I'd rather cut something else because sneak attack can draw you three cards for one leadership resource. 
So it's got a good return. Like I think I think you'd be more consistent just staying at fifty one if you're talking about cutting sneak attack at this point. Especially because you're drawing an extra card every round with Kirdan. So I, I, I feel like with built in card draw, plus Gildor has built in card yeah. draw. I feel like with those two heroes you can be over fifty and still have a really consistent deck. Especially if, like Chris just said, if the card you're cutting is a sneak attack or a Gandalf, that's... I th think it works out to be not in your favor. But do we like... What about... What that, about do we like I having don't know. duplicate uh, the like Gimli and Aristor? That's what I was looking at, Chad. I think dropping to one Gimli is what I would mm. do next, personally. The two Aristors are kind of okay because... Like if you've got a really bad starting hand, and but you've got your store there, you know by turn two you can start milling your hand for better cards. Mm -hmm. Whereas Gimli, he he, you know he's good he's a good ally, but if you're stuck with a bad hand and him, he's not going to help you get into a better situation. Um, that's my reasoning. Okay, so that, that's good reasoning. It's, it's something I, I think of without realizing I'm thinking about it, is how am I going to get out of a crappy hand situation? How do I rebuild a hand? All right, well, we're at 50 cards. I think the deck we've got is pretty good. So we ended up cutting a Gimli, uh, a, a Magic Ring, and... Um, I cut... Else? I think a I... Westro Traveler? Yeah, I, I dropped one of them. Okay. The horse breeder is cool. a great chump, and it helps you find a card, hopefully. So we can publish it. 